guys i'm back with another video today so today's topic is sia coin versus storage so both of the coins are based on cloud computing so there are decentralized cloud computing coins and one of them is actually at two dollars and eighty cents and the other one is at eight cents so there's a lot of difference between uh, each of them in price and I want to talk about each coin what it does and how it's tackling a billion dollar industry going forward Sia coin Sia coin is a decentralized cloud network that basically splits your files apart that you upload and it redistributes them across the decentralized network this basically makes it more secure and faster where a lot of computers are you know helping out to make the network fast and that's where your your information is being stored people might think that you know hey my information is distributed among uh, multiple computers or hard drives that people you know lend for space it's not that case it's not the case because it's on a, a network where you have the private keys so it's not like anyone has access to it and that's actually a feature that you know they both say is a key to being decentralized the company does not have all your information so say Amazon Google and Microsoft these are the major players in cloud right now and you store your information on their servers so they basically have the information that you upload they have access to that information however sia and storage they you know say that while this information that you upload is on multiple computers it's shredded and encrypted it's not accessible to anyone except you because you have the private key or the, the wallet key basically to that information so another big you know key feature for sia is that very very cheap so Sia offers almost 10 times less expensive cloud storage computing um, than its competitor Amazon or I wouldn't say competitor but it's trying to compete against Amazon so Amazon charges for one terabyte of cloud space $23 whereas Sia for one terabyte of space only charges $2 so as you can see it's a huge difference and a lot of people who are comparing you know cloud computing um, for their computer or for for a family twenty three dollars versus two hours is, is a pretty big difference and i don't see why people would not choose you know the two dollar one because you know it's a twenty one dollar difference per month that you can be using towards something else also be discounts for corporate accounts or companies that have you know multiple accounts that need multiple space so i'm not sure exactly what the pricing on that because they did not release that yet however for personal use you know if you need one terabyte of space or something like that it is very very cheap so another big key security feature that they do um they do announce on their website is that it does break every document or every file that you upload into small pieces of tiny information and, and encrypts encrypts that small pieces of information and it distributes it across the network into nodes di different nodes so this way they're saying that there can never be um, an error of storage so a corrupt file that is stored to cloud it's all going to come back together and you kind of repiece itself and give you that document at a blazing fast speed and another thing is that say am you're with Amazon and their servers are down or uh, their their upload speed or download speed is kind of slow at the moment because there's a lot of people that's not gonna happen with Sia or storage because they say that you know it's since it's multiple people distributed over a, a network there's never one person that's gonna be way too slow so all the people combined are is gonna make a fast download and upload speed so that's that way you get your information way faster so we talked about Sia till now so let's talk about storage is there any difference between Sia and storage there is no difference everything that Sia does storage does and everything that storage does Sia does they're just named a little different and that's pretty much it they do the same exact thing however you can mine Sia whereas with storage you can give your extra hard drive space that you don't use in return for coins the only difference that I found on both of their websites is, is the price. So we can go ahead and compare prices between Sia, Storage, and its competitors right now, which are huge, which are Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. All right, guys. So I'm on the website right now for Sia, and as you can see, they have a cal calculator for your savings. Two terabyte for Sia Storage charges $4. 
Um, Amazon charges 46, Google charges $40, and Microsoft charges 48. So the cheapest one after SIA is Google uh, uh, Cloud, which is 10 times more expensive than SIA. I mean, this this right here, you guys can see that it, it's no brainer where people will choose SIA cloud computing going into the future compared to Amazon, Google, or Microsoft. So if you're looking at SIA's competitor storage, they charge 0.015 per GB. So let's calculate that for two terabyte. So two terabyte is 2000 GB. And at that, it's $30. It's still cheaper than Amazon, Google, or Microsoft. However, it's nowhere close to being in, in the same category as SIA because $4 to $30 is still a, a ways off. So for being a decentralized you know, company that helps cloud computing, it's still way too expensive. So let's look at the price of the coin and where you can get it. So the price of the SIA coin is 0 0.077, so about 7.7 .7 cents. And you can find it on Bittrex, Polynix, or HitBTC. As you can see, Cryptopia does not have any volume going on, but I personally trust Bittrex and Polynix over uh, some of these other websites. So you can definitely pick it up at one of one of these sites, and you can use uh, Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum to pick it up. So if you look at storage, it's two dollars and seventy six cents. So at two dollars and seventy six cents, it's way more expensive than Sia Coin, and it grew twenty six percent just today alone. So you can pick this one up on Binance, Bittrex, Polynix, OKEX, uh, and some of these other websites, Yobit. So I've not personally used some of these uh, sites like OKEX and um, Yobit and Liqui. So as you guys can see, uh, most of the volume happens in, in some of these sites. So you guys can pick this one up for $2.76. I still think that it's a way better deal to pick up SIA right now for $0.07 cents than pick this up for $2.76. This is already up. However, the market cap and number of coins available is lower for storage compared to SIA. So that's one thing to keep in mind for you guys. But I do believe that even at $0.07, cents, you can still see maybe a 10 times increase to $0.70 cents in 2018 sometime. So. I personally would put my money in SIA over storage. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got some information on cloud, what, what's coming in cloud computing based on uh, blockchain. And I hope you guys invest in one of these coins. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys could share the video, I'd really appreciate it so we can grow the community. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.